Hi everybody and welcome to Survival Lads. So on this video I want to show you this. It is the British Army respirator case. So this is designed for PLC webbing uh, but as I intend to show you it's incredibly versatile and is suitable for a number of bushcrafty preppery kind of uh, uses. So obviously it's primary use, the reason why it was originally made, is to store a respirator. And it does that in this rather large compartment here. Uh, to facilitate this, it has a rather large adjustable shoulder strap. So you can wear it on your shoulder like this. It has a PLCE uh, belt uh, loop system here. Uh, also this can be adapted to get onto numerous rucksacks and onto your belt itself. Uh, if you do have it on your belt and you are moving around quite a bit, also comes with this cordage here which you can use to actually wrap around your leg to secure the bag to your leg, much like a fly holster for example. And it has a number of pockets, so one pocket on the outside, if I open it up, it has a pocket on the inside there, and two smaller velcro pockets on the inside as well. So that's the bag itself, um, I must say it is from, I'm oh sorry I got this from Born Survivor Supplies, which is a fantastic eBay shop and also are really active on Instagram, so be sure to check them out. I'll put all the relevant links, as always, in the description below. This is currently retailing at £13.99, and I think is worth every penny, simply for its ruggedness and sheer versatility. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it up with different things and show you what I think it could be used for. <clears throat> Okay, so first, obviously, it's intended use. It's designed as a respirator case, and you know what? It functions really well as that. So I have it in the shoulder strap configuration currently. Looks like a normal kind of bag, you know? Doesn't look too out of place. Boom, respirator. This is my Check M10. It's designed, I believe, for a British Army S10, um, but I think it'll fit a number of different types of masks. There's an insane amount of room in here. I also have room for the spare filters and plenty more room besides. So you've got, you'll have room for gloves, you'll have room for uh, decontamination wipes if you want to. All sorts of different things. So obviously, there you go, that's the first one. It's perfect for holding a respirator, would you believe? Okay, so as another example, inside I have a poorly packed uh, DD camping hammock. So this isn't a small bit of kit, it's quite big for what it is. Um, and that fits in perfectly with plenty of room to spare. So I think personally, you could get a lightweight camping setup in this bag alone. Um, that will allow you to travel light into the field and have a good time. Um, other uses I can think of for a bushcrafty standpoint, um, as I may have mentioned earlier, uh, foraging, stick this on your belt, you're going out looking for tinder to start a fire, just chuck it in, you have a drainage hole at the bottom, so if there's anything damp it's going to just leak out the bottom so it's not a problem, or even just general day to day use, you know, your missus isn't going to be very happy if you buy this for, for a birthday, that's like a handbag, but as a functional man bag, I think it looks pretty good, and it's black. Who doesn't like tactical black? So yeah, that is the uh, British Army surplus. Well, I say surplus. It's never been used. It's brand new. But the British Army PLCE respirator case. It is a bargain at thirteen pound ninety nine from Born Survival Supplies. I definitely recommend you pick it up and fill it with all sorts of goodness. So, thanks for watching. Stay safe. And I'll see you soon.